So everyone's like, Brady, why haven't you put out any videos recently? Yeah, so this is what I've got to work with. We're going to give it a shot. YouTube, how's it going? Long time, no see. Bunch of stuff going on. Life is always crazy. It's never changed at that point. So I'm not going to go over too much, but we'll say 21 year old stuff. 21 year old, 22 year old, 23 year old stuff. Oh, I can't even imagine. Anyway, so with all that being said, life is crazy. I don't have much for time. There's not a whole lot of spare time anywhere anymore. So uh, one day we'll see how it all goes. Maybe, maybe we'll get somewhere. But uh, with that being said, my laptop is actually not in the best condition as you saw in the first clip, so I don't really have much of a loading device. We're going to give this a shot and see how it works out and see if I can actually edit the videos and get them online. Uh, my Wi-Fi has also been a little bit iffy and things have been going on and off with Time Warner Cable. Oh goodness, and they're changing their name now to be able to hide, I hope. Uh, but today we're going to talk about sterilizers. First, I'm going to point out I got Vernon behind me in the 55-gallon tank. Vernon is my green iguana rescue from last year. He's actually, I think, now three years old. He was taken from a 40-gallon uh, breeder aquarium where he was kept for the entire two years. So I uh, didn't really have much as far as space care. They never held him or worked with him. He comes out of the cage now. We work with him pretty good. So I'm um, not sure if I showed him before. And uh, there's a few other things going on around the house as far as new additions, new tanks, and uh, new animals, actually, new creatures. So we'll show all that over the next couple of weeks here. We'll see how things go. Um, I'm going to start off by showing what I actually picked up myself about two months ago. I picked up a 36-watt CoreLife Turbo Twist 12X. Uh, absolutely ridiculous size box. I think this thing sits at about two feet, maybe 26, 28 inches long. Um, very large size sterilizer. It's rated for a 500 gallon aquarium and uh, I absolutely love it. It works very well. I'm very pleased with it. Very simple to be able to set up and get working. It already comes with the bulb already inside of it. So it's sealed up like you see it. You've got your spouts on either end to connect your tubing on which it does not come with you've got to choose what you want for your tubing there are multiple options on there as you can see you can change out whether or not you want a thicker well, let's see if i can show it a thicker tubing or a thinner tubing i'm using a thinner tubing so i had to make sure that i uh measured that all out i'm using a 5 8 inch tubing uh, on either side, one is connected to my pump, which happens to be, well, it's the same thing, 5 8 inch for the actual spout. Um, and I think it runs at 240 gallons an hour, 300 gallons an hour. The key is when you're using a UV sterilizer, and this goes for any brand, you want to make sure that the flow rate is kept slow, but not too slow. That way you're frying most of your parasites, most of your bad bacteria, most of your algaes, things that are actually going through there are actually going to take longer to get all the way through the sterilizer. The bonus to the turbo twist is because the actual inside is formulated to keep the water flowing all the way around that light, it fries, well, technically 12 times is what it says in the box, but 12 times the amount of stuff that you'd usually get out of uh, any other ordinary sterilizer. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's why I enjoy it. Something that's long enough that's going to fry everything along the way, powerful enough that's really going to take care of most of the problem, and uh, slow enough where I don't have to worry about it missing something. UV sterilizers at a, at a lower wattage are going to be more of a, let's help out with an algae issue, help out with a water clarity issue. I bought the 36 watts to make sure that while my tank had been crashing, I was seeing my um, fungal infections, bacterial infections, cyano showing up inside the aquarium, different parasites, velvet, ick, you name it, it was inside the aquarium. And uh, I just didn't want to have to take any risks with it. So at 36 watts, you are guaranteeing that you are frying bad bacteria, cyano, parasites, whatever's going through that sterilizer, you're going to take care of. And I didn't need any risks with this. I wasn't going to go buy a 9 watt sterilizer and expect it was going to fry all my bugs and all my parasites for me. It's just not strong enough to do that. 
Now, 36 watts could be seen as a little bit more overkill on a 90-gallon aquarium, but nonetheless, it's not going to cause you any issues to be able to get a bigger sterilizer. Go big or go home. It doesn't matter. If you want to get a bigger sterilizer, that's all up to you. Uh, and I highly recommend it to keep it on any kind of main display to really help keep that water from getting too murky, uh, to keep anything down in general. If you've got cyano showing up in your aquarium, it helps out. Now, is it going to eliminate the problem? No, if you've got cyano, there's got to be something in the aquarium causing it but it definitely helps to bring it down. Um, other thoughts, canister filters will have UV sterilizers inside of them. Hang on the back filters will have UV sterilizers inside of them. And the question comes up, is it bad to have it inside the aquarium or inside the aquarium, whatever the case is, because it's frying my beneficial bacteria. It's 36 watts, you've gotta be frying everything inside of that aquarium. You should have a main spot, a main base where your bacteria is being kept. For example, I just took a 29-gallon freshwater aquarium from the fish house and brought it on over. I brought two gallons of water with me and the filter pads and all the filter cartridges and whatever bacteria pads I had in the back of that filter, stuck it on, refilled it back up, the tank never cycled, my nitrates dropped down to about a 5 to a 10, had no issues, no problems. The fish are fine, the water is clear, it never caused any issues. Well, why is that? My main base of that bacteria kept the whole tank going. Um, as long as you have that there, you're not going to have to worry about seeing your waste shoot through the roof. If you have the proper equipment to keep up with any kind of uh, spikes in nitrates because you are getting small amounts of bacteria that are being just decimated through the sterilizer. But it's also doing the same thing with algae. It's doing the same thing with any bacteria, any kind of parasite. If you're frying something, it's rotten in the aquarium, you're going to have a little bit of ammonia spike, you're going to have a little bit of a nitrate spike as a result no big deal. It's not that big of a deal it happens in the aquarium every single day. Um, I can say for personal experience, as I'm running this right now on my 90 gallon aquarium, I have no issues, no problems. My nitrates are currently at a five. They were at 180. I brought it down to a five part per million. Who would have thought? So that's really all I got. Sterilizer is not a bad idea. Got to get your own pump for the core life. I highly recommend it because it seems like it makes a lot more sense to use as a sterilizer. It can be used outside of the aquarium. It doesn't have to go inside a sump or inside anything else. You just have to place it somewhere. You can hang on the back of the aquarium for crying out loud. So um, not a bad idea. Highly recommend a good product. It worked for me. So let's go take a look at it underneath the aquarium. All right. So there's the UV sterilizer light on. Shows that bulb is still working. I've got my connections on the top. This is my return, which is going to be right towards the top of the bulb you've seen. Uh, it goes straight down into the sump. There's my 5 8 inch tube. Once again, I bought this all off of Amazon. The sterilizer, the tubing, and the actual pump for the sterilizer all came off of Amazon. Pretty decent price. I think I paid like 12 bucks for the pump. The tubing was like an extra four, and then the sterilizer, obviously, 180 But yeah, the size that it's at, it stretches from the top of the stand to the very bottom of the stand. This is, in a, I think it's a standard black oak 90 gallon stand. So pretty decent size, really, honestly. So, works really well. Very cool, very interesting. No issues, no problems. I highly recommend it. If there's other brands out there, go ahead and post them down below in the comments of what you recommend, what you'd like to try out, and what you seem to uh, work the best with on your sterilizers. So, any questions, thoughts, concerns, put them on down below in the comments. I'll see if I can answer everything the best I can of my ability. We'll be putting out new videos. I've got the next one coming out on protein skimmers. So, we'll see how that goes. I can on urge you enough to check out my Instagram page. I have it kind of connected to this um, channel in particular. It shows the 90 gallon tank, any new additions, things along the way, and the new tank setups that are coming out. So really check it out. Take a look. The Fish Guy 12, spelled all one word, all lowercase, the Fish Guy 12. Pull it up on Instagram. I'll have it down in the description below as well. So uh, I wouldn't urge it if it wasn't for the fact that I'm just not as active on YouTube because of my current situation. We'll fix that. It'll get there. So I'm trying to get back there. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something, and I hope it helped you out. And uh, I will see you all next time.